All right, attempt number two at this video. I usually don't talk in my videos, but here I am talking. So, I've been working on this for hours. This is Exoterra Keeper, um, I don't know, Terrarium, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I want to say it's 18 by 18 by 34. I'm not sure if that's right, but anyway, it's for my crusted gecko, Ziggy. Here he is hanging out on the mushroom ledge, and yes, that is a very ugly hook hanging the mushroom ledge. And I'm gonna get some magnetic mushroom ledges to replace that, because that looks bad. But, I might get a couple other things for this too. <clears throat> um, it's also sitting on an Exoterra stand, which is pretty cool. Took a little effort to put together, but it's got a, a drawer, which I just have coconut bark and stuff shoved in there right now. And then there's also a big cabinet, which also is already filled with junk, but I needed storage, so that's what it's for. And it looks pretty good. I got the Reptifogger up on top, uh, which is also working pretty well. Uh, I don't really have it turned up right now. Here it goes, you can see the fog. You can turn it up higher than that too. It does clearly state in the instructions not to run it 24 hours a day, or it will start to wear out. So, don't want to run that all the time. You really don't need to either, especially for this crusted gecko. It, it'll be humid enough in there without it all day. Um, well, I do have a light that's up in there. Um, it's from my smaller thing that I used to keep him in, but uh, also really like a really old vine that I wrapped up here. It doesn't really look that great, but this new one is pretty, pretty cool looking. Um, it also definitely looks cool with the, the fog rolling around in there. I don't know how well it looks on the video, but um, there's a little coconut hide hanging back there. Bunch of plants. Oh, that's got a cool background in there. Came with it. And he's still hanging out. I think he's a little confused. This house is way bigger than his last one. Um, but he'll get used to it. He does a lot of jumping, so now he has all kinds of space to jump around. Uh, I need to get some more crickets, though. I think there's about two in there. Anyway, that's that. And there's the aquarium, 75 gallon. Uh, let me turn the light off. There, that looks better. All right, and there's Riley. He's a red eared slider. He's about three or four years old. Um, he does really well in here, he's very active. Just hanging out right now though because it's pretty late and his lights usually are not on at this hour but I wanted to do the video anyway. Uh, I've got a couple fans, there's a little, tiny little fan in the corner you probably can't see. Um, then I've got this power head going over here. It's pretty decent. Uh, got some goldfish which used to be really small and he did not eat. I don't really feed him goldfish anymore. Um, got some cichlids. There's one of them. The other one's probably hiding. Uh, I wish I had the video going earlier because the turtle ate a large crayfish and I only caught the end of it. So there's a couple other crayfish in there, but uh, he finally got one today. Well, looks like there's one sitting down in here. You can't really see it very well though. There's a couple other fish in here too, but they're all hiding. Uh, there's one. Uh, ball shark, two of them. And I have a very green pleco that's hiding down there too. You can't really see. Also got uh, there's a black shark in there under this ledge. And then there's also I've got a small cynodontus and then a larger one who also is hiding. He's in this cave too, but he's hanging out. And I, uh, there's another cichlid in there too. 
which I wish would come out because he's got nice colors. There he is. Jahanai. It's pretty awesome. Alright, there's one of the crayfish came out. There's the black shark. And this blue one, I believe, is an obliquidin. There we go, there's the black shark. <clears throat> He's pretty aggressive. He and the Jahanai kind of get into it a little bit, but no injuries. Let's chase each other around. So that's okay. The turtle pretty much leaves all these bigger fish alone. He doesn't really try to eat them. I feed him minnows from time to time. He's still hanging out. Uh, he's got some good coloring on his underside there too. He is male. He's got the big, the thick tail there. Uh, he's also demonstrated that he's a male several times, but uh, we're not really looking to breed right now. So let's get his basking area up there. And some driftwood. And this video is probably way too long now. So oh, uh, the filter. I'll turn the light back on. Uh, well, I still can't see very well. It is a Magnum 350 Marine Land. Uh, it is. It's done a good job. I've had it for a long time, probably about a year and a half, and it's still going strong. But uh, these fish in here and the turtle are pretty messy. Even though I've got multiple bottom feeders, they don't keep all keep up well enough with it. So. Um, I'll probably get a better filter sometime, but that's that. Oh, I've also got, uh, you can probably see, I've got the light grating underneath the river rock there just to kind of protect the glass. And that's probably about it for right now. Check out some other videos. Like it if you want. And uh, follow my page. That's it.